Zoom, 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 let go. What up, what, what, what up? You can't see me here today back again. You already know what it is. RimWorld Alpha 13, the Colony Builder Simulator by Titan and Sylvester. Yes, man, we are back. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe, 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 leave those comments, share, because it feels good. And if you like what I do and you want to support, check out my Patreon, okay? So, we're continuing on with the series. Um, right now, I was trying to decide what I wanted to research. We have smithing, which you can craft metal for weapons and tools. Um, they have like microelectronic basics. Devil strand, which is a type of uh, material for clothing. Electric smelting, um, where you can smith items without fuel. I think I'm gonna do machining though, cause you can craft guns and you can disassemble mechanoids. Mechanoids are like these alien uh, robots that come and they're actually very tough when they attack. So, in the last episode, uh, we fixed the turret that I had. I couldn't get power to it. I couldn't figure it out. And it was just a line disconnection. You see it right here with the circuits. Um, it was one just like that going to the turret. And it had got broken during, I think, uh, when we got raided. So, um, right now, I'm making sure all of my lights um, are receiving power. Uh, we also battled a heat wave. And the heat waves get up to like 120, 30 degrees, 110, 115 at night. So um, the way I helped to deal with that, I was keeping my colonists in the refrigerator slash freezer in between when they were working and they were sleeping. And then um, I created this HVAC system down at the bottom in their uh, living sleeping quarters with vents. So hopefully that will help in the next summer because the heat wave ended, of course, once I got done. But that'll help um, when these seasons change again and when it gets hot or if we face another heat wave, which that can happen randomly and you never know. So it's like we ready to go, we ready to go. So um, right now, our oh man disease hit. Fibros mechanites, fibro mechanic, mechanites. Uh, basically some of my people have bionic limbs, it looks like, but because they have these bionic limbs, the downside of that is they get this condition where they feel extra pain. I guess in those limbs and those joints. Um, I also created a solar panel right here to the right uh, to help with the powering of this uh, compound living area. Since we'll be adding more lights, you know, we're adding the electricity, you want to make sure that you compensate with the correct amount of uh, power. So, yeah. I am also going to. Um, get my people to mine some of these areas right here this is compacted machinery which it breaks down into these uh pieces that you use when you build and then this is just compacted steel which is uh basically one of the main resources that you will use when you're you know building when you're creating like you need plenty of steel you can also use it with buildings with walls but i try not to use it for that purpose i use wood or when you research stone cutting these pieces that come from when you mine, you can make those into granite, marble, um, or different types of slabs that you can use to build stronger structures. So yeah, so my people going around, they eating, they happy, you know, the colony is doing well. I'm thinking that my freezers, you can see my freezer refrigerator is getting full, like I'm running out of space. So I'm gonna build a secondary stockpile um, but I'm gonna make sure it's indoors when you first start sometimes you put them outdoors but everything has a um, finite life span or life date and it's increased when it's outside due to the rain due to the weather due to the elements so you want to make sure you keep them inside and contain within walls and then they last almost infinitely uh, where they don't take damage now clothing for instance if you are fighting you know and you're wearing them they do uh, wear down with the wear and tear but if they're just sitting in a um, inside a building then you you good you know you won't see really any wear and tear the other same way you would if they were exposed so yeah we making another one and then I'm gonna expand my freezer I think um, I'm actually going to choose the um, the type of items that can go on a stockpile. You can be that specific in this game where you choose what you want the um, material or the item to be 
in any of your storage or stockpiles. So we're gonna go ahead and move forward a little bit. We got the room built and I actually started choosing the type of stockpile. And I think, you know, I'm gonna I'm do a little more renovating and uh, adjusting the way that the room sits. Cause I definitely either gotta put a hallway right there or make the um, freezer a little bigger. I think I'm gonna do that. I zoned a little too much. Didn't mean to do it under the door. Cause they will lay stuff right there at the door if you do so. So this right here is how you choose the storage. You can choose the priority level. I'm choosing food. And then I'm also choosing um, medicine. I just want to store food and medicine in here. And that will encourage them to uh, haul everything else out. The wood, the stone, the silver that is contained in this room. They'll move it to the new stockpile. That's what I want. So yeah, food. Not art, not furniture. Is there raw resources I'm looking for? Medicine, here we go. So yeah, just food and medicine is all I want in this freezer. Get everything else up out. Okay, okay. Let's see, what do we want to build next? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put a second, well, a third solar power unit right here. Got to connect it with the power line. And then, how we looking? Okay, okay. Let's see. Get my man to equip this shotgun. You. And, hmm. I don't even know what this spot is. I think that's the spot for an animal that I created. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Got food in here. Uh, this is a dumping stockpile. I'm also customize that for storage. Um, right now I have only corpses there, but I don't want human corpses right there. So I gotta uncheck that. You uncheck humanoid corpses and uh, mechanoid corpses. I don't want robots that either. either. I only want animal corpses, so that's what we're gonna put right here. Animal corpses only. And then they'll butcher them, because that's the butcher table right there. Let's see, this stockpile zone. Okay. That stockpile zone's okay. Let's see, burger. Decker. Just checking out some of my people here. You got a plaque steel knife. Consuming a simple meal. Okay, okay. I need to put another chair right here by the table. I only had three. You know, I was dang on monitoring the resources. Let's see. I'm going to put this table right here. This is the stone cutter's table. And that way. I can take a lot of these chunks that come when you're mining and turn them into usable slabs. Let's see. I think I'm going to also put a uh, tailor bench. We at a point now we have a lot of textile materials. So I can go ahead and use those to make clothing um, and actually prepare for the winter. You got to make parkas. Cause they will freeze to death we had the heat wave where they will also freeze to death so you definitely got to be prepared for that and it takes a lot longer to make a parka than it does a little t-shirt so you gotta be ready you gotta be ready i also had to deconstruct and reconstruct this table i didn't choose wood i had uh Still, you know, I'd be trying to limit use of that resource unless it's for things we really need because you can run out and it's difficult sometimes to find somewhere to mine it. You have to just dig deeply into a mine and never know what you're going to run into. Um, so, yeah, that's like a, a scarcer resource. I don't like to just use it, you know, all willy nilly. So this looks like a good place 
to bring this one to a close and we'll get back and pick up on the next one continue building um continue laying out this colony but i do like the way it's growing you can't see me rimworld alpha 13 thank you for checking it out and riding with me make sure you like make sure you subscribe 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 leave comments share because it feels good and if you support want to support just want to be down and help with what i am doing make sure you check out my patreon okay it's down in the link and other than that make sure you come back and watch this rim world and above all things you know what you must do right you know what you must do make your next move your best move all right peace you can see me your favorite gamer Zoom, zoom, let go. Zoom, 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 let go.